Guys, welcome back to Stoneblock 3 finale episode. We're doing mechanism, stew automation, the meatballs. We're doing so many things, but we're finishing the book. While I am making all the machines we will need, you can screenshot this or pause the video. This diagram will help you make diesel fuel. It shows you what you need and the machine you need to make the next step and it's absolutely fantastic so let's get on to it first thing i did is put some uranium ingots into an enrichment chamber to make yellow cake uranium next thing is water vapor which is made in a rotary condensator you need to toggle the operation and you can give it an evertide amulet for infinite water next is oxygen and oxygen is made in electrolytic separator by providing it with water again we will use an evertide amulet and you also need to trash the second production which is hydrogen we will not needed for fusel fuel then sulfur dioxide you get it from sulfur in a chemical oxidizer now you can get sulfur dust by processing some sulfur in the enrichment chamber and the sulfur dust is em next we need to take the oxygen and the sulfur dioxide put them into a chemical infuser to make sulfur trioxide now guys, I am a noob. This is the first time me doing this. So this is not the most compact setup. Then we need to combine the water vapor and the sulfur trioxide to make sulfuric acid. Now as you can see, I already made a more compact design. But it, it can get even more compact. Then you combine the sulfuric acid together with some fluoride in a chemical dissolution chamber to get some hydrofluoric acid. Then we need to put the yellow cake uranium in a chemical oxidizer which will give us uranium oxide. The uranium oxide and the hydrofluoric acid go into a chemical infuser and make uranium hyaxo hyaxofluoride? I don't know guys. <laughs> and this goes into an isotopic centrifuge to make fissile fuel. Then we made a fission reactor. Um, I decided to go big and maybe that was a mistake. The reactor needs an input of water, fissile fuel and an output of the heated coolant or steam. Alright guys, everything is almost ready. These guys have water. This guy needs sulfur dust. Perfect. This guy needs fluoride dust. Perfect. Now let's turn on the reactor. Everything was going well until we got our first polonium pellet. Nice. Oh, oh. What happened? Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh no! Am I dying? Red matter armor. The gem armor. This is the only thing that will save me now. Oh no. This thing blew up. <laughs> then guys, <laughs> I fixed the reactor, but it blew up again. <laughs> oh guys that was a nightmare guys a nightmare well this took me like two days and at this moment i decided to take a break that is bad but guys <laughs> there's one thing we can do that's smack radiation removal and yeah well let's get <laughs> Oh my god, everything is gone. Oh no. Well, let's rebuild it. This time I decided to go smaller and I also decided to put in more water inputs and more heated coolant outputs. This way, this thing would keep up, just run in the background without any problems and no explosion. Alright guys, well, we got three isotopic centrifuges making fissile fuel entries then we got four water and we got a lot of outputs for steam and uh, let's actually start this thing again and hope for the best all right guys i think it's keeping up all right guys we got the polonium pellet singularity that's 
freaking fantastic guys all right guys that is mechanism complete very nice all right guys now we got a few quests left that would be the cosmic meatballs okay well let's make 2k of cosmic meatballs and 2k of endless barrels all right guys there's multiple options to automate this but what i'm doing is just item pipes disconnected with each other connected to a personal emc link and this i can output and i'm just gonna emc the item into each mechanical crafter like so now this is for the cosmic meatballs and all items in the cosmic meatball beside the neutronium nuggets which let's actually check on them we left them running for a few days oh my god got a lot all right we got everything besides the fish oh nice we got some raw cord from loot bags i believe the basic ones i think we can transform this in botania into other kind of fishes so if we add an alchemy catalyst under the pool nice this gives us salmon we have all the fishes yes we do perfect all right we got all ingredients for cosmic meatballs let's start the process nice actually eat one all right next is the endest pearl All right, that's the end of the pearl done. All right, guys, next thing is ultimate stew. Now I am going to automate the EMCable items of camera and I will be back. Guys, most of the items we did have, so I just placed them into personal EMC links connected to the mechanical crafter. Some required some botania, uh, like the sweet berries, I believe, and then some required uh, some basic crafting which I consider boring. Anyways, we did all that. Then we needed onions, cabbage, tomatoes, rice, which you get from uh, crooking mycelium. And I've never done this. So we did, we got them all and we set up a farm. Now the cabbage and the tomatoes was EMCable. The onion and rice, we set up like seven phytogenic insulators making cabbage, sorry, onions and rice. All right guys, we got onions, we got rice nice the emcable items are done all right next cutting board automation beef patty bacon pumpkin slices pasta from window mutton chops salmon raw salmon sushi deployers on top nice Netherite, nice and provide it to the players. All right, nice, perfect. Why is this not working? Of course, because I need to place them one higher. All right, I see. All right, it's kind of working. I've placed the trash can here. Filter those knives, no tags, advanced item collectors for the draw. This perfect. It's a trash can. Perfection. Now let's lock this. Roller. Go. Nice. Now let's speed this up. Alright. Got all this automated. And we got onions and rice for days. Let's start with the easy ones. I need 2k onions, some sticks, some tomatoes, and some meat. Prefer beef. Then I need a crafter. This in ingredients, remember. And then I want barbecue. Stick. Like I saw, let's pump these good boys inside here. And out 2k of barbecue stick. Fantastic. Now let's get 2k of pumpkin slices. Apply a new recipe. Like I saw, fruit salad. One apple, two melon seeds. Two sweet berries, pumpkins, one pumpkin slice, and one bowl. All right, fruit salad is being made. Let's use our amazing Neverite furnace to cook up some beef pat. Nice. And let's cook some bacon and mutton chops. Fruit salad is done. Hey, fill this in. Remember and like hamburger. Of course, input the beef pat. 
Now soon we will have two key hamburgers. Hamburger done. Get place member cooked bacon bacon sandwich. Apply. Nice done. All right. Next mutton wrap. Okay. Oh, got two key already. Nice. Let's also cook some rice. Now you place a cooking pot on the stove. I believe this should work fine. Needs a bowl. Why is that? Does it need to go on top? It's like... Yes. Don't need a bowl? Oh yes, you do need a bowl. Alright guys, now, as always, I'm not sure if that's the best way to automate this thing, but what I've done is, I've, uh, instead I placed an inventory checker. The signal is coming from the cooking pot into the inventory checker. Now, I've added the rice here. Let's actually clear that. Does it see this thing? Yes, it does. Let's... Five... Three... See, if this is filled in... Then the rice stops cooking. Um, now, what I've done is... Maybe that's not necessary. I don't know. Because it's not keeping up anyway. So, the redstone signal is not necessary. If you set a shoot to one, it should be okay. Right, guys, the next automation of the cooking pot is more complicated. So, let's finish off with the easy one. Let's see. Bacon and eggs. Five eggs, we got well, everything. Right, nice. Right, next one. Roasted mutton chops. Bye. Got cooked rice, tomatoes, cooked mutton chops with beetroots. Got boy. Why is this? Okay, okay, I see. Hold on. Oh. Oops. Fine. Perfectly fine. Alright guys, so the process of, uh, what do you call them? That's amazing, I lost them all. The pellets, yeah, the pellets. was slow and I tried something with the reactor and it blew up. I had 66 polonium pellets and... <laughs> yeah. Anyways, let's get back to cooking. Chicken potato. Next one, roll salmon roll. Roast chicken. Grilled salmon. Nice. Right, let's make honeyed apples now. Right. We need... Nice. Alright, honey apples automated, guys. We got honey bottles going into an item drain, and then the honey going into the pouch, and then apples from EC, which make honeyed apples. Nice. Next, next, next would be chocolate glazed berries. Now what I'm gonna do... Okay, chocolate berries done. Next is blaze cake. Cinder flour, eggs, and sugar make us a blaze cake base. Then we need to input lava into it through spouts. And lava we get from lava chicken eggs. Easy. Hey, what I'm gonna do next, and hopefully this does work, I'm gonna cook what we need. Then I'm gonna create a recipe for it and place it in an ME pattern provider. And let's see, actually, let's build a quick ME system. Now we're gonna connect all the drawers with all the mats to the new system. Should able to see 
that so far nice all right guys now i should have everything connected i also connect uh, the compressed refined emc link with all the food we'll ever need to the system and let's see okay yeah, let's see if this works now i provided emmy pattern provider with the diamond this yes. and the ingredients should go into the cooking pot and then import it back into the system but see when we have thousand it seems to be working lightly oh how about that above I didn't even really think of that before. Let's cancel the craft. Alright guys, I know it's going pretty fast. Uh, let's remove these. And rebuild. Now, how many channels does this use? Two! That is fantastic. So we can build another three on this game. Next one. I'm gonna use a cabbage. And an egg. For a cabbage roll. This is perfection. Place it here. And I believe I can start it. Nice. I think it's cooking. Oops. I want this set like so. Yep. I didn't have time. Right. That's perfect. Alright guys, let's make one more on camera. Beef stew. It needs some beef, carrots and potatoes. You basically make it once then you assign the recipe in your terminal and then place it in the ME pattern provider. Then you ask the system for 2000. Nice. Actually guys, I think it's all the same process. I'll be back when I have most of them done. Guys, the only thing I couldn't figure out how to automate is this, the tomato sauce. I'm just doing it manually. And of course I placed like six mixers doing the tomato sauce, but I'm also assisting that. Right guys, we almost got everything. Just need the last, what is this? Pasta with mutton chop and stuffed pumpkin. Everything else is finished. Glazed cakes, sweet chocolate glazed berries, chocolate glazed berries, honeyed apple. Everything is done. And guys, I cheated in the polonium pellet singularity because this thing was MS. And I'm not going to wait a thousand years for it to be finished. And I'm sorry about it. Also, the endest barrels are done. The, what do you call it the cosmic meatballs are also done now back to the stew all right guys now that we have the stew and the infinity catalyst going i think i'm going to clear up all this redecorate the room and start building these things all right guys i think this is an appropriate room for a stone block finale let's get to it guys all right guys finish up the game we need about 138 infinity ingots and that's like 1500 something infinity cattle now we're not gonna wait let's make a few noise i've got some what do you call them neutronium ingots here let's take a few no what else do we need and we need the matrix ingots let's see Hello? 29. Dang. So we need another 100 and something. Alright guys, a stack and a half. That's all we can make at this point. Let's pick up a few of those. Actually, let's pick up a stack. Nice. Alright guys. Oops. Uh, <laughs> I think we can start with the armor. Nice. I guess it's nice guys, right? All pack is coming to an end. Hello? Why not? It's strange, why is it not using the the armor? Nice. Hands. And boots. I think these are just lagged out. Strange, it did use the boots but nothing else. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Infinity. Oh, wow. That's fast. 
Sonic speed. Well, that's awesome, guys. <laughs> Not that we're gonna use it anywhere. Ah, okay, Sword of the Cosmos. Wait. It didn't use my infinity ingots? It's kind of weird. Oh my god. Right, guys, I relogged. I still have a lot of infinity ingots. Uh, well, I guess I am kind of cheating. I don't understand what's going on. The thing is, it doesn't work like this, but it does work like this. If I do this, it should work. And I do get back some infinity ingots. Now, guys, I'm not sure if it's cheating, but do we care at this moment, this point? I guess we don't. Any Anything, everything will be made eventually so it's just about time and time is very precious in our time <laughs> nice noise a bug of some sort but we might as well abuse it all right oh my god we're done guys, we're done. Now I'm not gonna do the transmutation table or tome of knowledge. Anything else in this pack is absolutely useless. But we're done guys. That is amazing. Now unfortunately I don't believe there is... Oh my god, this looks so, so stupid. Oh my god. Wow. That sword is amazing. Nice. Can I shoot? I can't shoot. Oh my god. No? But what's the point of it, guys? Right click? Nothing? Alright, apparently we need to click shift. Right click. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, wait, so that's the world breaker and it comes automatically with a fortunate chant 10. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I didn't uh, ulti mine that guys, it just mines the whole tree. So what about the planet eater? What does it do? All right guys, so the planet eater, apparently the shift right click option, this one, breaks an area 8x8. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's cool, guys. And next one, shift right click. Nothing. Okay, shift right click. Oh. Wait, no, that's normal. This is amazing. Now, what do we test this on? Let's actually do this. Let's cheat. Summon. Mother. Mother silverfish. Oops. Hello? Hi. Let's see. 900 HP. Hmm. That's all. Well. Are there no shift right clicking? No shift right click. How about this bow? Ooh. That is, that is an amazing bow, guys. That is an amazing bow. But, yeah. Well, you know what they say, guys. It isn't the destination, but the journey that matters. And the journey of Stone Block 3 was freaking epic, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to starting a new pack, guys. And I hope you are too. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed the pack. I did. It was nice. A bit grindy at the end. But that's what you get usually. That's what you get. I enjoyed it very much. Thank you for the creators of the pack. I really hope you enjoyed it, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.